Hi, I'm Koshukai 11 at grade 5 from Emu Primary School. This lesson is Primary School Challenging Math. For the last few lessons, we have done questions on probability, geometry, and those countings. Then let's look at this type. So this time, for this question, when you see how many ordered triples? So this is something like counting again, but it's not really you go and lift them all out and count them. It's just that you use another way to count. So for these, you have the ordered triple x, y, and z. And all these x, y, and z are positive integers. For these triples, they only need to satisfy three things. The least common multiple of x and y is 34,300. The least common multiple of x and z is 1,400. While the least common multiple of y and z is 2,744. So in order to find these, we need to know how to find the factors. So the factors, you can just try to divide them. And these are also in prime numbers. So first, let's start with the least common multiple of X and Y. That is, 34,300. Now, what is this equal to? So, we can write this over here, then divide it. Wait. Like this. First, you divide it by the 2. Then you realize you can divide it by the 2 again. Then, you cannot divide by 2 anymore. So we'll try dividing it by 5. Then you still can divide it by 5. And then you got this number, 331. Then can you divide that by 7? Well, if you want to divide this by 7. So let's try to write that. Well, I don't think this will be divisible by 7. So, at this part, okay. Wait a second. Here is a 4. So it's a 3, 4, 3. So now let's check with this to see whether it's divisible by 3. So 34 minus 6, 28. Yes, it will be divisible by 7. Then 49 is the square. Or if you don't want to treat the check like this, you can just straight away realize, wait, this is the 7 cube. 
So you get three of the sevens. Then at this part, we'll write it in powers. Like this for the 34,300. Then we have, and this is for x, y, for x and z. We'll need to use this number, divide by 2, then divide by 2 again, and again, then cannot anymore. So, this we can divide it by 5. Five again. Then we have one seven. So this will have two cube times five square times seven. So this is x z. Then for the y and z, you have two thousand seven hundred and forty four. So with this number, it's a little bit more tricky. Divide this by 2. And divide it by 2 again. Again. And again. Then, at this part. So there are no fives here. Then you can have. Wait, can you have a seven? Well, you can't have a seven. So now. We need to check whether. What is this divisible by? Well, for this, oh, wait a second. This part, then you divide this by two. Then you'll have this. So no more twos here. So then you'll also realize this is a seven cube. So it becomes like this. So it's like this. Then we can try to find with these numbers. So for example, we just have a 2 first. Then these are triples, so you can have just a triangle like that. You can say, I have x here, I have y here, and I have z here. So x and y, we have two of the twos. And then x and z, we have three of the twos. Y and Z will have also three of the twos. So for this, these two, they are both cubes. But Z, it can only be two cube. You might wonder why? Why is Z only two cube? Because X and Y, their maximum is only two, two square. So you can't have that. Then, but then you realize we have different cases for X and Y. So X and Y, there might be, wait, this should be a 1 because it's 2 to the power of 0. It can be a 1 and a 2 square. It can be a 2 and a 2 square. 
It can be a two square and another two square. Then you also can reverse this order. Two square and a two. Two square and a one. So in total here, you have five cases. So for the two, you already have five cases. Then how about for fives? So for this five, here's an X, here's a Y, here's a Z. So X and Y. You have two of the fives. X and Z, you also have two of the fives, so let me just draw this a bit lower. But Y and Z, you don't have any fives. So that means Y and Z, they are both five to the power of zeros. Then X will be five square. And also anything to the power of zero is just a one. So that means here we only have one case. Then how about for the seven? So for the 7, X and Y, you have 7 cube. X and Z, you have just 7. Y and Z, you have a 7 cube. So that means Y, we only can have a 7 cube. Because X and Z, their maximum is only 7. But same thing happens. We can have different cases. So with these different cases, X and Z, we, it might be 1 and 7, it might be 7 and 1, it might be 7 and 7. These three cases, so the two, we have five cases. The 5 we have 1 case, the 7 we have 3 case. So that means the total number of cases will just be 5 times 1 times 3, which that you'll get 15. So actually, this is our answer. Like this. And for those, well, this is the full. Thing. For those like in Math Olympiads, they might have multiple choice, but if over ended, then you need to calculate all these out. For multiple choice, when they give the options, you might just need to look whether it's a multiple of five, three, but it's only in this case right now. So, this would be our final answer. So, for these ordered triples, Although this question, it might look quite hard, but actually it's just this symbol. Because they don't need you to find out what X is, they don't need to, to find out what Y is, they don't need to find out what Z is. They just need the number of these triples. So these questions, they can just randomly change. And you must be careful. So which goes where? Okay, so this is actually the end for this lesson. So if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you for your watching.